Terror charges new tonight and only on ABC Action News. An alleged plot to harm police during a St. Pete protest earlier this year. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith uncovering the new documents that outline a list of violent threats. Investigators tell me this armed protester brought a Molotov cocktail right here to police headquarters during a June protest. And these court documents reveal a series of alleged threats targeting local officers. June 3rd, officers move in on a crowd of protesters. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee was there reporting on the tense moments. There is still a very, 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 very heavy presence of Pinellas County Sheriff's Office out here. That swift response came after police say a protester threw a round of ammunition at officers. They quickly found a loaded gun tucked away. When that major saw the gun, we all that we're supposed to do with police officers to cure that person. Police believe arresting Abraham Quarishi stopped a potentially violent attack. Court documents reveal Quarishi parked his car next to police barricades that night. Inside that car, a Molotov cocktail. The report states if the defendant was not arrested, there is reason to believe the defendant was going to discharge the device. He now faces several charges, including terrorist activity and inciting a riot. Investigators say they found multiple threatening videos on his phone, including him armed with a rifle outside police headquarters with the caption, stay home. Documents also indicate Quarishi did recon from high vantage points of the police department and other critical infrastructure. Police also arrested Quarishi's roommate for allegedly setting off a Molotov cocktail in a St. Pete parking lot. An attorney tonight representing both of these defendants told me they are not commenting on these charges. In St. Pete, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.